So my name is Echo. I'm going to present you today with uh, uh, the automation software called DriveWorks. And uh, we're going to see what DriveWorks can do to help your manufacturing processes. Uh, I'm working as Solid Expert. Solid Expert briefly has been founded in 1998. And uh, we're right now 75 people working at, at the office and uh, managing well right now. I mean, even though it's, it's COVID and everything, but it, it, everything seems fine until now. We have up to uh, 300 and 500 clients and everything is uh, starting progress. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just receiving some message that telling me that the webinar is not, it's not online. Okay, whatever. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna close my camera because it's picking up on my uh, And I'm gonna come back later for the questions and everything. So let's start. Uh, what is DriveWorks? So in this presentation, I'm gonna briefly talk about DriveWorks and the, the introduction. I mean, I'm just gonna introduce with you what DriveWorks is. We're going to see uh, how to use DriveWorks, who can use DriveWorks, uh, what are the main features of DriveWorks, and then uh, we're going to talk. Uh, I mean, we're going to. I'm going to show you some examples uh, that we did on DriveWorks uh, in Solid Experts. Right. So let's talk about DriveWorks. So what is DriveWorks? Uh, DriveWorks is a powerful design art automation tool for SolidWorks. So any model that you actually are able to uh, to to uh, Add using SolidWorks and be modified using DriveWorks. You can capture data, you can capture dimensions, you can you can uh, just put any value on the drawing that you did with the model, and you can reshape it the way you want. Uh, it's a 3D product configurator software. Uh, so basically, uh, it, you're able to take your 3D model and and configure it so you you, you can add forms. And, and you can add questions to, 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 to be able to complete the configuration of your 3D model. It is automation for manufacturing. And uh, DriveWorks is basically a, a software that can help you to reduce repetitive tasks, eliminate errors, increase sales, and deliver custom products in record times. I mean, it, it, it really is going to help you to, to really focus on, on your business and have all the manufacturing process being uh, made that directly and automated using DriveWorks. So in the DriveWorks family, there are uh, three products, three main products that DriveWorks sells. There is the DriveWorks Express, which is already available inside of your SolidWorks standard. Uh, there is your DriveWorks Solo and then DriveWorks Pro. So the main difference is the DriveWorks Express can only uh, be used to capture some value and then with the value, you can update the, the model, but it's kind of like, you, you don't have that many form controls. You don't have uh, many uh, stuff that you can do with it. It's, it's really just to have an upper two of, of uh, what DriveWorks is capable of, but more serious stuff can be made using DriveWorks Solo. In DriveWorks Solo, you can actually create forms. And you can embed buttons, you can embed check boxes, option buttons, I mean, lots of lo lo lots more of options to, to produce nice forms. Those forms can be embedded directly into SolidWorks. The main difference between DriveWorks Solo and DriveWorks Pro is the fact that in Solo, uh, you're the one building it in SolidWorks. I mean, you're, 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 there's only one person being able to, to produce one code at a time. You can't, you can't uh, create multiple codes, you can't have clients uh, work on your project, everything is made on the same computer. So you can't share the project to someone else. It's really, I mean, it's, it's in the name, it's DriveWorks Solo. And also there is uh, other uh, small differences. Uh, basically on DriveWorks Pro, you could also have uh, custom macros being able to run. You can have more in-depth generation of your drawings, things that you can't do really with DriveWorks Solo. And the, the, I mean, the, the last products of, of, of DriveWorks is DriveWorks Pro, which is the main one, which is the one that we're going to talk about mainly. So in the DriveWorks Pro lineup, there is uh, one, two, three, yeah, there, there is mainly five modules. Let's call them modules right now. So there is DriveWorks Administrator, DriveWorks User, DriveWorks Autopilot, DriveWorks Live, 
and everything is connected in sensor to Driveworks Pro server. Uh, inside, uh, basically, Driveworks Pro server uh, is where all the, 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 the group content is located at. Uh, what, what I mean by that is all the specification can be called using the server. The server is just here to, to, to uh, keep all the data. So you create the forms, uh, you create all the rules, uh, and, and you control the user access using Driveworks App Administrator. I'm just going to use this. So you, you use Driveworks Administrator to actually create the import forms, to add all the rules to the forms. What, what, what I mean by adding rules? So basically, uh, let's say you want to create a form in which uh, a client enters his name, and you want to put a second button for uh, to, to, to validate his, his city, let's say. So you put the name and the city, and then right after you want to do validation, okay, like who, who, which sales rep can I use for this client? So you have a bunch of rules that you can target uh, to actually uh, get the information that you want. Uh, in in Drivebooks Animator, you can run the project, you can edit the project, you can uh, give access and permission to whoever gets uh, to run the, 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 the project. What I mean by project is basically just forms and rules together. Um, uh, things that, that, that you can't do in Drawbox User. Drawbox User, it's really just made to be able to run the project on a computer uh, using a, a program, actually, like not, not, not using a, a browser, for example, but using really a, a Windows program to, to, to run the, the project that you created in Drawbox Administrator. You can only run it, you can configure new products, you can, you can uh, I mean, build as, as, as many as you want, but it's only like through another program. So you can't, the, the main difference is that you can't modify the forms. Uh, now the magic is happening really uh, when you start using Drivebooks Autopilot. With Drivebooks Autopilot, it's basically like a printer. It's it's uh, able to processing the job queue. So you you can send as many orders as you, as you want to, to that server and it's going to process them one after the other. Uh, so you, you can run, run a project multiple times and uh, it's going to get into the, the autopilot server, which is going to manage like which project can run before the other one. Uh, it's also able to create documents. It's also able to send emails, so you can be notified when a project is done. You know, you can you can uh, you can also alert other teams that basically a project uh, has has been made and that needs some approval or, or any other type of uh, notification. Um, and it's also very useful when used in conjunction with Drivebox Live. Drivebox Live is basically a, a way to, to take the project from Drivebox Administrator and put a window on it for the live. So you, you can take the forms that you built using Drivebox Administrator, like all the logic, all the design rules, all the forms, everything, and you put it online. And of course, uh, since it's online, you can add more rules for the responsiveness of, of, of your form and have it also available on your iPad and on your phone, I mean, iPad tablet uh, and, and on your phone. And uh, this really is one of the main features of Drivers because you, you could therefore just take your manufacturing processes online. Uh, you you can, can just directly uh, give that part to uh, anyone in the company and they're going to be able to create new orders. And you can also, uh, since you already use SOLIDWORKS to model your 3D projects, you're able to, to, to take your 3D model and put them online at the same time to, to, so, so that it's easier to, to, to configure. You, if, if you want to change a table, for example, and uh, you want to change the width of it, so online directly you can have a little preview there and you could uh, directly see what type of modification you want to make, which is very, very useful. Um, so how do we go exactly from design to automation? So in order to go from design to automation, basically you, you first uh, build your new user in interface using Drivebooks here. So this is where you put all the, the former controls, so all, all, all the buttons, all the, the, the Instances of your project, everything that you want to input in, in, inside of the, of the project to be able to configure the, the product. 
will be made inside of the user interface. You can add labels, you can add text, any type of form control to, to aggregate. To the user interface basically. Then you can build all the rules and logic of that user interface. So let's say, uh, again, I, I get that example, but you can also give like a small example. For example, I, I want to input two um, control uh, forms to enter the width and uh, the height of an object. And so I, I, I can just enter like the width, the height, and then in the background, there's going to be rules that's going to calculate the surface or it's going to calculate uh, the, the missing height or and, and any other other stuff that you want to calculate. So the building rules can take uh, you can you can create new variables that's going to take information from the forms in order to build something. And when you build the rules and logic, you can also export that logic into your 3D model. So inside of the 3D model, what, what's happening is that you're capturing dimensions. Those dimensions can be modified using the user int interface, and then you can push this back in order to modify your 3D object. And therefore, you're just able to configure and, and again uh, your 3D model. Of course, uh, when you build rules and logic, you can decide to who you send your documents, you can decide uh, where do you store your drawing files, where do you store your, your, your model. I mean, you, you, you can basically decide and another way of viewing uh, this is basically you just enter a value into a form. This program does a calculation from what you created, so all the rules and all the logic makes a calculation. And then uh, you can see the result, which is a 3D model. So really, Dryworks can help you create and configure a custom product fast. Enables you to work smarter than any of your competitor, and it's designed and manufacturing more efficiently because you're using a, a computer basically. So you can eliminate errors, you can save time. Uh, yeah. So now the next question is uh, who can use DriveWorks? Uh, DriveWorks can be used by pretty much engineer and technician, which is uh, the main people that are already. Getting uh, the 3D models. It can be used by the sales team. So let's say client calls, and uh, instead of actually going to the engineer to, to, to figure out a code, you can directly do it on Driveworks. You can just fill out all the forms and get an estimated price, for example. It can be used for distributor, and even can, it can even be used by your customers. Uh, so your customer themselves can go online, complete the form, and have an estimate uh, pretty much. I mean, in, in, in terms of in minutes, I mean, it's it's really, really fast. So you just have to fill out a form and all the, the rest is being handled by program. All the rules are being calculated and then you, you, you have all the information. So even customers can use it. And actually we have, uh, I'm, I'm having two examples I'm going to show you after in which uh, the Drybooks project are available online and users can actually input information. So what are the main advantages of DriveWorks? The main one is to gain competitive advantage. So that's, that's I think those are the main one. The other one is to reduce the cost of custom designs. So instead of having to, to uh, every time repeat your custom design, you, 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 you just do it once, you do it well, and you can you, you can reduce the cost of them very fast. You can respond quickly to sales. Inquiries. I mean, that's what I said uh, just now. <laughs> Which means, like, if you just you just have to input information into a form, and directly you have uh, you, you you can estimate a price. You can enhance product quality. I mean, uh, if you're able to generate, I mean, if, if you're able to take time away from manufacturing processes, I mean, from uh, the design process of of your manufacturing product. Then of course you're going to have more time to enhance the product quality. Um, of course, it's going to be able to reduce repetitive tasks and reduce errors. So now that we talked about all of this, uh, let's talk about a few of the functionalities of DriveWorks. 
So Trivoke's main functionality is to be able to generate accurate drawings and models. So you, you have yourself your own model, you capture all the information, you put the rules, and then you can do it again and again. Using interactive forms, um, Trivoke is also able to, to have a, a small process. And what, what I mean by that is you're able to, to say who has access to which part of a project at what time. So for example, you can have two teams working on the same project, I mean, on, on the same order. So the sales team creates the order, and then it has to be approved by the engineering team. So the engineering team opens uh, the order, checks about it, and then uh, you can approve or reject. It. So it's more about like the, the, the flow of tasks uh, in the company. So you, you can even manage this using DriveWorks. And then finally, you can also, of course, create documents and emails using Trifocus. And what I mean by documents, it's able to handle Word documents, Excel documents, PDF documents, and all the export files of SolidWorks. So any e-drawing, I mean, any uh, DWG, any, any other file that you might use during your, uh, during your process can be generated using Trifocus. Uh, and we're going to look at, uh, I mean, in one of my examples, we actually do try books to generate document online way faster than if we actually used Word. Uh, this this was made by our team at all experts. I'm going to talk about it a bit later. But let, just I mean, the, the main goal is to understand that Trivox is basically, you could do lots of things with it, and you can even improve on it. You can even add to it. So more functionality of Driveworks could be uh, integration with the website. So you can integrate Driveworks now with in, inside of a website. So if you, have, you can even use the forms that you created on Driveworks as a website. So if you, you don't want to pay for another hosting or hosting or anything else, you can directly use the site site and uh, put whatever form you created on the Driveworks in one of the examples, directly online. So you don't, have, you, you don't need much uh, understanding on how the online part works. You just, it, it just works. Uh, you can be used as software replacement. I think we have a client uh, that actually decided to get rid of his CRM and uh, another tool that was able to generate quotes and uh, another tool that was able to generate the drawings, like three tools. They, they just removed it and completely replaced that with Driveworks because Driveworks was able to do it right away. I mean, all the tasks that was needed in one program. So you, you could cut cost there. Uh, it could be also, uh, it, it could also like run web services in, in API so you can integrate inside of it. And I think I have an example also of that. Uh, you can integrate I and mean, you can fetch information from web services. So if you want to know on your web app, uh, uh, if, you, if you want to get the, the, the Meteo, uh, I mean, that's, that's pretty much a dumb example, but uh, let's, it, my, my example that I have here is it's about Google Maps. So you can uh, check the distance between two points by doing a call to the Google Map API and then checking the, um, the distance. So you can do this inside of Driveworks. So it has those kinds of integration with the new web. Uh, you could do custom document generation. In our case, what, what I mean by that is that we were able to uh, recreate the whole web page using Driveworks and then export that web page directly into PDF format, which was way faster than using the Word. But it's only for one client that actually needed a uh, lot of documents to be generated very fast. Uh, and finally, you can also use Driveworks once you actually uh, made your 3D model. The three model that you see online can be exported. Uh, it could be, uh, I don't know, if I'm, I'm just going to use a crazy example, but you, you can basically uh, model uh, something online and just send it to a 3D printer at some point. I mean, why not? That's, that's doable. So, like I said, uh, Driveworks is very flexible also. You, you can have access to a lot of other softwares, and you're able to read and write information through many types of databases. 
So you can have, you, you can fetch information from your PDM, from your TLM, from your ERP system. So it can be integrated very seamlessly into your system. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying the integration point is saying that DriveWorks is able to actually read and write data uh, into lots of databases. I mean, and any SQL database is supported. So mainly lots of programs today. And if not, you can also write uh, into files. So XML format or JSON format. Uh, you can also send and receive data web services. And finally, you can also right now read information directly from the DriveWorks project using uh, the, the, using an API. So you can also get the information out of your DriveWorks project uh, for another uh, program. All right, uh, so that's going to conclude my part on presenting DriveWorks. So what we saw is DriveWorks is able to automate that. It's able to uh, have a workflow. Well, what I meant by workflow is like you, you, you can have projects you can create nice forms with it, uh, with functions and kind of, of uh, form validation. Uh, you can integrate it with your actual system. You can preview your 3D model and you can export your 3D model. You can even generate a 3D model. I mean, that's the, the, the main point. It's automated CAD. And everything is made possible by rules. There's another feature of driver that I didn't talk about really. It's reporting, but reporting is mainly uh, when you're automating the process of DriveWorks, you're able to see which errors uh, are, are happening. And uh, I think the reporting system on DriveWorks is very accurate. So you, you can directly see if the, the automation process has an, has an issue and you can fix that very seamlessly. So that's uh, an, an important task, I mean, an, an important part of DriveWorks. All right. Um, so now I have a few examples uh, that we did as all experts that I'm going to show you. Uh, the first one, uh, they're, they're all videos, so I'm just going to talk a bit about uh, over about the, the, the videos. But uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, I'm going to answer them pretty much in the end. But if you have any questions right now, you can always uh, ask them. I think on, on on the chat or on the question tab or something like that in the, the go to webinar, you can you can pitch some questions, and I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to be able to, to answer them a bit later. All right, so uh, I can show you. So this project, um, what I wanted to talk about this project is basically that uh, the video. Okay. Yeah, it is a video. Uh, so No, wait for me to stop this video. Okay, anyway, it's already going. Uh, here you see there is a three model of a table, and uh, this project is is to be able to configure the table. The project is all is is only made using DriveWorks forms, and those DriveWorks forms are available on your browser as you see here. So those forms are directly from DriveWorks. This is the documentation I was talking about. So it creates directly a web page. This web page can be printed. You can print it directly, and uh, I don't know if you saw that, but the web page creation was very fast, and uh, you can all, always export that web page into uh, into PDF format, and you can also email it directly from this interface. So you see here, uh, the user is able to configure the legs, it's able to configure the colors, uh, the top color, or the the base color. And you have lots of options and configuration. Um, so what I was saying is this project is has been made directly using DriveWorks and is available on the live. I mean, it's it's being uh, pushed via DriveWorks Live online. So the, there's no real uh, web. I mean, it's, it's a web component, but by itself, it, it, there's no web programming behind it. We just actually took the form of DriveWorks, which are really easy to use, and uh, we published it online. So you, you, you can see here, again, uh, a chair model being customized. 
um, yeah, let's see what we change the colors and everything. So it's going to add that, I think, to a wish list, which is another kind of document being created on, on the fly. So you see here, it's just going to add the chair with the table to the wish list. And then you can change the quantity directly on the fly. And then you can create a wish list. You, you see it's basically instant document creation. And you can print that. There's no price here because it's a guest account. So anyone, any, any, anyone right now can go to this website and actually have a feel of, of dry books. And uh, you can also email that same quote uh, to uh, your email address if you wanted to. And that's using the autopilot feature. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, that, that, that's the PDF. PDF being uh, sent via email. Okay. Uh, Now I'm going to show you a second example. This example is it's a collection. I mean, it's, it's a content that created also the, the whole form here are being created using DriveWorks. Of course, there's no really any web component. There's no really HTML or CSS embedded in, into that. The live which I think is a very nice request. Uh, this request was made by marketing of the company. So we just reproduced it here. And so yeah, th th this company is doing a collection system for stolen water. You saw uh, the little form here. And then you, you can enter basically your volume. You can enter all the information about the space that you have, and DriveWorks is going to directly calculate uh, all the, the available chambers I mean, that can fit between your volume and uh, the space that, that you have. So you see, if you can't produce a certain type of, of chamber, then there is a, the, the error being shown. There are two parts. So if, if you want to even go further, you can add uh, those manholes. This is the drawing being shown in the end. So you see how you can add uh, lots of information. You see the bill of material. Uh, and this part is one of the most important one is, is when you don't know the volume, you can actually select a, a video station and it can calculate the amount of water that's being, uh, that, 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 that's been raining in, in that region and extrapolate for you using complex calculation embedded in, in, into DriveWorks uh, the volume required for your specification. So you, you saw here that we embedded basically a Google map and we're able to click on a station to, to transfer the information from that into DriveWorks. Uh, this company uh, is using DriveWorks for hydraulic jack. I think it's uh, it's for computer jack. Um, in, in this case, we only used DriveWorks uh, administrator. So you see, this is what DriveWorks administrator looks like. Uh, this is when you run a project from a computer and not from a website. So they decided that this is the company that actually like. Uh, took all the clients and embedded all the database inside of DriveWorks. So you can, you can see here that you, you select a client and then you can add a new code for the, for, for the client. So you select all the information about your product. You can put the weight, you can put pressure, I mean, anything that you need, any specification related to, 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 to product. And, uh, yeah, it's going to do all the calculations. It's going to show you the result and then create automatically the 3D model and the 3D drawing. So in a second, we're going to have a look at the 3D drawings, which are very uh, complex, I think. So you saw this was a generation. I mean, it's accelerated, of course, but I, I don't think it's that slow. 
So those are the PDF. You see here many break lines. You see how the drawings are very much uh, complex, and you see like it's up to their standard basically. I have uh, another project, and this is the last one, and it's about institutional and commercial boilers. Again, uh, same case. This is Boiler Road Administrator. You enter all the information about the project. This is more of an engineering uh, type of environment. So you, you enter your order number, and then you have all the information. So you see many uh, many forms to, to complete, and uh, then you can generate the three model. So you see the three model is very complex in, in this case, and you're able to, to configure any type of order using this. Uh, it's it's quite a some work, and you see the drywall is working right now, removing parts, adding parts, doing everything that needs to be done on the three model in order to get the the right uh, product in the end. So you see, you see, this is the product being generated by drywalls. No errors, no nothing. All right, um, so that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I guess it's uh, <laughs> this is my presentation about Fiverrs. Do you have any question, any any uh, any other stuff that you guys need? We can talk about it now. I can give you a few minutes to to pitch me uh, some questions. I'm just going to put the camera. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to receive any, any questions. If not, I, I guess I'm, I'm going to give you guys in a few minutes. So, let's talk about some news. There's no question. Okay, in the chat maybe. No, not in the chat. Okay, so I guess uh, 